A few minutes to 10 p.m. on Wednesday, the Arua District Returning Office, Arutha Angom, who addressed anxious supporters at Arua Public Primary School, declared the result of the hotly contested Arua municipality by election. As Returning Officer for Arua Electoral District, and in accordance with Section 53, Subsection 1 of the Parliamentary Elections Act 205, as amended, I declare Wadri Cassiano Ezati, who has obtained the largest number of votes to be the elected candidate for Arua Municipality Constituency. Supporters of the winner, Cassiano Wadri, erupted into jubilation even when they expressed concern that he could not celebrate with them because he was in detention. We are not in a celebration mode at all because we believe when people are fighting for freedom and justice, it should not entail death in the 21st century. And as the whole world saw, this was a battle between bullets and the ballot. And I'm very glad that uh, the ballot prevailed over the bullets. What regarded 6,421 votes, followed by NRM candidate Nusulat Peru, who obtained 4,798 votes. Independent candidates Robert Ejiku managed 2,694 votes, while FDC's Bruce Musema came forth with 1,369 votes. Former FDC Secretary General Alisa Alasso, who was supporting Wadri, an independent candidate, asked FDC to improve its relationship with other opposition political parties. The party should quickly learn that every individual matters, so they should stop discarding people anyhow. The statements they said in Arua here were most unfortunate. And I think the people of Arua had and decided to act against them. Chairman of the Electoral Commission, Justice Simon Biabakama, condemned the killing of Chadondo East MP, Robert Chagulani's driver, Yasin Kauma, and the violence witnessed in Arua during the campaigns. The best choice. And therefore, let us all make a firm resolution that never again should we have what happened on Monday in our municipality. Never again. Let us work on that. Let us try to make sure we convince one another cajole one another and say, please, let us not do anything that soils our efforts to develop our democratic processes in this country. The by-election arose following the brutal murder of Arua Municipality MP Ibrahim Abiriga in June. Jumakiria, NTV, Arua.